economic discussion regarding inflation and the money supply. There is a candidate who says the dollar is losing so much value and there's inflation because the government just keeps printing so much money and all this extra money in circulation causes inflation, makes the dollar worth less and less. So I'm just having some thoughts about that. I'm thinking when the government prints money, it prints it out and it goes out through the Federal Reserve Banks. Like I know they have a letter for each bank, like the letter G is for Chicago. Then each of those pieces of currency that come out of there, every $10 bill, every $100 bill, every $1 bill, has a serial number. And so I would imagine that all the serial numbers printed have um, an entry in some database that they use to track the money supply. And this money supply says how many dollars are actually in circulation. Well, then people get this cash and it goes to the banks and then the banks put it in their vaults and make loans and cash people's checks and do all kinds of things and the money ends up circulating. And it seems to me that a lot of the money transactions nowadays are e-transactions. They come off of credit cards, debit cards, they are done over internet, they are uh, EFT, EDI, and all this stuff. So money is transferring electronically. So I'm just wondering, when all this money is transferring electronically, do those dollars still keep their serial numbers? Are they they're in a database, they're in a computer someplace, but does it tie to an actual printed piece of currency? That's kind of important because I would think that if you did not track every single e-dollar in every single business's account and tie it to a serial number, that that would be an opening for all kinds of things where inflation could happen not just from printing presses, but it could happen with electronic money that you would just make more copies of money in the computer and there's no uh, safeguards or not hardly any safeguards to find out where are the serial numbers tied to. So that's my question is are the e-dollars in circulation are they tied to serial numbers? Secondly is with um, the idea that money has got some value to it in the old days money was backed by gold but the United States stopped backing it with gold and essentially it's backed with faith. Faith that you believe the money is worth something. So people raise prices on their goods usually because their costs have gone up or if they want to increase their profits. So I don't know if that's actually because more money has been printed or if it's been a loss of faith or if it's greed, or if it's because there's no serial numbers tracking all the electronic money flying around. For example, let's say the government comes up a trillion dollars short and it prints a trillion extra dollars to meet the budget. So the money supply goes from 10 trillion to 11 trillion dollars. You would think that would cause some inflation. But what if, what if that trillion dollars they just printed they would take it and burn it all. Suddenly there's really only ten trillion dollars and the bill trillion that you just printed is gone. That's kind of my analogy for the war. That money is just gone, lost, it's not in circulation anymore. Although the computers would still say it is because it all was registered and logged in the database before it left. So I was just wondering about that. So when you think about a war costing a trillion dollars, that's like ten billion hundred dollar bills. That would be like giving almost two hundred dollars to every man, woman, and child on a planet Earth. And I was just wondering, does that make sense? That sending a, having a war in two countries would take that much money and where did all that money go? I wonder if there's anybody tracking it and accounting for it. And if it's gone, how could it make inflation? So that's why I'm just wondering, 
if inflation is really caused by printing too much money on the printing presses, or if it has other root causes, such as the lack of faith in the currency, or the loss of tracking of the serial numbers when it goes to become electronic money. So, that's just some food for thought in economics. See you, la See you later.